Come here, come here, bear. Over here. Sit. There you go. Stay right there. There you go. Good dog. Good morning. <laughs> morning. Cheers. Love, Cheers. You. Love you. Morning, everybody. Howdy doody. Oh my goodness. How is everyone today? Woo. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Before we get started, I want everybody to know that today, Bear, you look at me when I'm talking. Today. I'm going to do all my jokes telepathically, okay? So any time that y'all think of something funny today, it was me. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you just remember that, okay? You'll just start you start giggling at something at 2.30 this afternoon, you go, oh, that was Tom. <laughs> yep. Uh, that sounds pretty good. That's pretty good. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And please remember to click the bell so that you get notified every time we put out a new video. Please make sure to give us a thumbs up and to comment and to share the video with other people. And we're going to share something interesting with you this morning because this is a real-time RV life update. Okay, where we are, what we're doing, real time, got to remember the What Up Wednesday videos are about two to two and a half, sometimes as much as three weeks old before you see them. Yep. So you got to separate the two, but the real time updates are every Saturday with our chats. Yes, yep, real time. So last Saturday, it was a, a beautiful day, and of course it was our pack up day for a travel day. Well, a non-travel day, according to Bob. Yeah, it was from a next short. exit because it's a short. <laughs> we go from it, it was the a desert short one. to town, back to the desert to town. It was a short one. Hey, anytime <laughs> that we hook up the trailer to the truck, it's, it's a, a travel day. travel day or a reset day. So it was a reset day. It was a reset day, and you know what? I actually wasn't feeling good on that reset day. I had one of those queasy feelings, something like that. So she said, how about some soup? I said, all right. So she made me some, some uh, alphabet soup. And I felt a lot better after I had a vowel movement. I had no idea where he was going with that one. Jeez. All right, back to sat last Saturday. You never believe what it spelled out. <laughs> Jeez. Probably had a double vowel. Um, <laughs> two P's and two O's in it. <laughs> yeah, anybody above a kindergartner would know that. Yes! <laughs> uh, so we figured we would take our garbage so we didn't have to haul it with us to the RV uh, park leaving the desert. And we stopped and did something that we've been wanting to do for a while. And there's just a, a little historical sight to see that is just a little bit past uh, the rest area where we go take the garbage. And uh, it was kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's it interesting to, to know the, the history. Can we say what it is? Sure, we'll say yeah. what it is, but that's all we're going to say because okay. it's coming up on a What Up Wednesday video. It's kind of a mixture of other What Up Wednesday stuff, but it'll be part of that video coming it's up. It's the Old Plank Road. Mm -hmm. And to find out what the Old Plank Road is, <laughs> if you don't Google it first is to watch our wet up wednesday yeah. when that comes out yeah it'll either, so. <laughs> i got a couple of them in the can already so it'll either be this wednesday or the following wednesday there i can't keep go. track yeah so uh, it was also our pack up day and we had been out in the desert for a couple of weeks plus a few days mm -hmm. <gasps> two days extra over yeah. our 14 day limit we pushed it a little bit which isn't as bad as some people <laughs> yeah it's bad but still yeah um, when there was, it, we were the only ones out there. Yeah. We really were this time. Yeah. So. It was, oh God, it was so nice. It was so quiet. We had such <laughs> a great winter down there this year. No crowding around mm -hmm. us at all. Yeah. It was pretty nice. Nice and quiet. Lots of fun flyovers and everything. Yeah. We only got crowded out, what, twice, I think. Some guy in a Class A came up. Towing a truck with some motorcycles in the back of it? I don't remember. No. Yeah. 
Yeah. On Ogilvy? Yeah. I think his name's Dave. Oh, that guy. <laughs> oh, oh, that guy. I'm like, what the hell? No, it didn't. Oh, family doesn't count. Oh, that's right. God. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, then we'll cut that part out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that guy, he spoon docked us. Oh That's yeah, right. that guy. <laughs> He's that guy. <laughs> that guy. Oh, so Sunday was our travel day, our reset day, and we headed into an RV park to get all the the desert dust off of us and yeah. and that kind of thing. So, um it was a beautiful hot day. It was what up in the high 80s yeah that day? yeah mid yeah. to upper 80s it was <clears throat> it's it's hit it nice. here in southwest arizona it's late spring early summer now yep so we um we stayed at caravan oasis rv park it was a new one to us it was passport america is that correct that was a passport america so um we We've been doing uh, RV parks for a few days in between going back out to the desert or mm -hmm. being out our allotted time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we um, that way we can go and dump tanks and refresh, refresh, yeah, reset, put some new deodorant on the RV. <laughs> yes. You know, <laughs> clean the tanks, do all that good stuff. Because when we go and dump at the dump station at the gas station that's up on the hill from where we boondock. Um, we don't like take a whole lot of time to, well, that place has like horrible water pressure. Yeah. So we don't even get the chance to flush the tanks and no. we're really picky about that. We like to flush the tanks every time we dump them. So yeah. we try to keep it pretty clean, but we're not able to there. So that's why we like to check into an RV park for a few days. And that way we have full power yeah. to be able to vacuum everything and get full you know, power. Full power. Rudolph. Yes. <laughs> So that's why we go into RV parks occasionally. It's like, well, the reason why we're in one right now is because it's going to be up in the 90s. Yeah. And we need the air conditioning. So. It's supposed to be close to 100, right at 98, 99 here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So, and then all of a sudden it drops back into the 70s. So <clears throat> yeah. we're here for a few more days just to have power to keep the animals cool more than anything else. This one and me, we can probably deal with the heat. I can deal with it better than her. Yeah, I but, don't uh, do well with it. But if I've got all my fans blowing on me, then I'm okay. But yeah. um, we, uh, so we had gotten to Caravan Oasis. We walked around, um, ran a couple of errands. We went and filled up all the propane. And we, um, what is it? Oh, we went to the uh, grocery outlet store that's there, the mm. Green Valley <clears throat> outlet. Yeah. It's like a little small family-owned uh, store that gets grocery out, and they have some fresh vegetables and stuff, too, that come in from the farms. So um, we went there and got a few things, and uh, that ended up being a very windy and dusty, dusty day. It looked like crazy dusty. it was smoky almost because there was so much dust blowing around. You couldn't see the mountains all the way around. It was very dusty mm -hmm. we you get back home and you're going and you just feel the grit <laughs> from it blowing around it was it was not a fun day for doing that and thankfully it stopped doing that because the next day we had a blast oh my gosh it was such an incredible day we had so much fun on tuesday we went bike riding with Bob and Pearl we went e-bike riding <laughs> e-bike riding with Bob and Pearl of next exit yes so it was so awesome. They invited us to um, go bike riding with them, and they have four e-bikes. Um, Bob's been sent some for review, mm -hmm. and he's bought a, bought one of them. And so he has enough. They have enough to share with friends to go with them. So we met them up at their house, and we loaded the bikes in their vehicle and ours, and we drove into town because they live a little bit outside of town and where the park is along the river to go bike riding. So we brought a picnic lunch, and we went bike riding, and it was so much fun. We um, stopped and had our picnic lunch, and yeah, we just thanks, had a blast. Thanks a lot, Bob. Appreciate it. For the last four days, all I've done is research e-bikes. Uh-oh. <laughs> we did. We had, we had way too much fun. We're like, we don't want to like this so much. 
Yeah. But we did. We loved it. It was My so gosh. fun. And just being with them anyway, no matter what we do, whether it's playing Mexican Train, just hanging out yeah. and talking, um, we just had so much fun. So thank you again, Bob and Pearl, for inviting us to go bike riding with you. We Appreciate had a both blast. Of you very much. So we have some some video and pictures of of that day coming out on a future um, What Up Wednesday too. Mm -hmm. So that was just just so much fun. So I only hurt a little bit on my shoulder right here. Because for me, being smaller, um, I had to really reach for the handlebars and um, that. And then my lower back a little bit. And it's just because of not being used to riding. And it could be the way that I was sitting and, um, on the one that I was. Because there's like oh, four different brands of, of mm -hmm. e-bikes that they have. And um, the way the pedals were for the way that... You know, maybe me being small, and it's I have a small torso, so I have longer arms and longer legs. But anyway, um, I, I never did get sore. <laughs> no, you didn't. I you never did. did. I, I think really it's because I'm in great shape. I think it was round is a shape, right? Round is a shape. Yes. yes. <laughs> I was surprised your knee didn't bother you. I know. You. I know. I still and have to wear a brace on my knee with the meniscus tear and things like that, and it never did. Never did hurt. Um, never did bother me. My back, nothing. I didn't. I never felt bad at all yeah you're, i felt pretty good, good the day after yep and even though they're e-bikes we really tried to get the exercise out of mm -hmm. them too because we had this opportunity mm -hmm. and uh, we had bikes with us a long time ago and we decided we didn't ride them enough to want to carry them on the back and worry about people stealing them and stuff so we don't bring them anymore but um we just we had a blast we had a lot of fun yeah. so uh thank you again bob and yes. pearl Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. If anybody ever offers you to try out their electric bike, say, yes, please. <laughs> because it's super fun. It is fun. You know, because <clears throat> my bike riding, I would, like, pedal really fast, and then I would like I liked to coast a didn't lot. You, didn't you ride the one Sean and Angie had? Nope. Our Vision Nomadic nope. one, and you didn't? Nope, I never did. That was the first time I ever okay. was on one. But you can, you know, you can gas it up and get a little boost if you get a little bit tired. It's yeah. so awesome. And then they took us through parts of Yuma that we've never seen. You don't seen. really gas it up. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throttle it. <laughs> E-bike. E-electric bike. There's I no G-bike. The... It's not a G-bike. Yeah, G-bike. Gas it up. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Had to hit that G spot to get it going. Yeah. <laughs> Did you really, really say that? Say what? <laughs> Beep. Oh, gosh. So, uh, Wednesday, we needed to provision and uh, get Re provision. groceries. Reprovision. Reprovision and... Pack up again because we were only at the RV park for a few days and we knew we were headed to locations that didn't have uh, a nice big grocery store. Yep. So we went and did that. Ugh. Packed everything up. Yep. We, um, we had a lot of chopper activity that day. At the RV park. At the RV park. Yeah. So we stayed at Caravan Oasis and they are right in the flight path. Yeah. And it's not so much the jets. A lot of choppers. A lot of the choppers. Yeah. I mean, right over us. And uh, even though we had a lot of that activity, it's not quite as cool as when they beeline straight for you. Yeah. <clears> like we had when we, we were, were in the desert. Oh, Gilby. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it was still really fun to go go out and watch him. And then there was um, one point where there was. They were doing some kind of an exercise, and it had a plane in front, and there were five helicopters in a V formation behind it, and that mm. was really cool. I got a yeah. little bit of video of that on my phone, so hopefully he can add that into a video that he's going to do about all of our flight up flyover activity <laughs> that we've had since we've been down in Yuma. Ooh. But, right? You said you were going to do that. Okay. It's going to be in a video somewhere. It'll be somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> um, so then... Uh, Thursday, we had our travel day, our first leg going north. north. Heading north for the summer. Heading north. <clears throat> so my family was all excited because yeah. when we do a travel day, I always um, message everybody, my mom, my sister, my kids, where we're headed when we're leaving, just like to let them know. Um, my mom's the only one that is not on Life 360 with me, so... 
Um, it's just good to let them know where we're headed, how about how long it should take us, and then when we get to somewhere, then I let them know we arrived and here's where we are. So it's just kind of a a good mm -hmm. good thing to let. I mean, it's something that that me and my kids have done forever before Life 360 or anything. We would always let each other know, you know, hey, we're going going out of town. We're leaving now. Here's one, you know, they let me know, yeah, we got here okay. And it's just something that we've always done. And it's even more important now that we're on the road traveling. So, um, <clears throat> so as we're heading up here, we're in Quartzsite. Yeah. And um, we headed up here and I get a message from our friend Christine. We met her and Tommy at the RV Dreams Rally several years ago and we hit it off with them. 17? Um, 18 or 18, 19? 19? Yeah. I don't remember yeah. when. Uh, it's been several years it's ago. It's hard to remember back that far. I know. <laughs> the, they just all <laughs> blend in together. So as I'm coming up, she says, hey, where are you guys? We're, you know, um, leaving Phoenix, heading to California. Where are you? And I said, oh my gosh, we're on our way up to Quartzsite. We should be there about such and such time. And she says, oh, do you think we could meet up for lunch? And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be awesome. Let me let you know how our travel day went. So as soon as we got here, I said, okay, where are you guys? Hello. And they were here in town. They had already made it to Quartzsite. And we met up with them for lunch, and it was just so much fun. It's awesome getting to see people like that, especially on the spur of the moment. Yep. And Tommy says, it's because of your posts. I see where you're headed. I think that you're going to be here or there. And uh, he says, so keep posting where you are. But it's, it's happened with them where we met up with them once here, once in Tucson, um, yeah. what, somewhere else, yeah. too. And it's just, um, it's... We just really hit it off with them. We love Lay them. Down. Down. Tommy and Christine, you are so much fun. We love spending time with you. And thank you for reaching out. And uh, it was great Lay getting down. to see you. And so, um, That's a good girl. So we did that right after we arrived. I mean, we yeah. put slides out, turned the air conditioning on, and <laughs> went to lunch. Yeah. <laughs> and then got back and finished setting up and everything. Then yesterday, uh, we went to Ken's Grocery Store. Uh, it's here in Quartzsite. We love going to Ken's. It's And I put this in a review a couple years ago. I went to go put a review in Google Reviews, and it was like, oh, I already have one in here. And it's a treasure hunt every time you go, because you never know it's going to be there. And I was bummed that his dollar store wasn't open. They're only open two days a week now because yeah. there's Quartzsite's a ghost town right now. Pretty much. Yeah. We are in one of the RV parks because it's supposed to be in the high 90s today, uh, this week. So we needed air conditioning. Yeah. Um, more so, like Tom said earlier, for um, Bear and Kaylee. Yeah. But uh, so we went and did that. We went to KB Tools, yeah. which is right next door. Yeah. I had some so, fun. Yeah. Just goofing around. We kind of drove through the town. You know. Yeah, a little bit to just kind of see. We're going to go back out and do a, a video just of around town and show you how desolate it is here. <laughs> a lot of places are closed yeah. for the summer. Yeah. And they got big signs closed for the summer. And, uh, you know, because it gets super, super hot here. So it does. A lot of these businesses, I don't know how they do uh, stay open. But this, this RV park we're in, <clears throat> it's... Uh, under new ownership, under new management, it's an older park. That is really saying something, but it's still operational. <laughs> but it's uh, it's a nice little park, you know, with everything. It's kind of interesting. It's a Passport America park. You know, you can't you beat the go. price for 13 bucks a night there for full go. hookups. You know, yeah. I can't argue with that. It's They do have some long-term folks here, you mm -hmm. know, you can tell. And a lot of them are uh, older folks, elderly and this one, one old guy over here sits at a table. Yep, and reads. And reads all day. I finally, I stopped and, and talked to him yesterday, and I, I asked him, I said, uh, what if I gave you a $20 bill? Would you let me ride up your stair lift on your RV? He's taken me up on it. All righty then. <laughs> wow, you're as cheap as you are. I can't believe you offered twenty bucks. Oh God, <laughs> it's big.
baseball season. So we have baseball just about every day, getting to watch baseball games again. Uh, Cardinals aren't doing so great. Yeah, oh well, it's baseball. It's only April. It's only April. <laughs> we say that all the way through September. It's only September. It's only April. <laughs> it's only They'll April. get hot here sometime. It's yeah. only April. <laughs> yep, exactly. Exactly. Do you want me to pull up some answers on here, or do we just want to say what most people said? Oh, that's right. We didn't collect that. You, you kind of know. I kind of know. Okay. I mean, most okay. people, <clears throat> we, our question of the week last question week, of the week was... Was... When you take your pills, vitamins, whatever, do you take them one at a time, whoop, one at a time, whoop, or do you go? Whoop, whoop, whoop. So most most people who answered take them one gulp at a time. That's me. Which really medically that is the wrong way to do it. Oh, Doctor Tom. I may not be a doctor, but I play one on YouTube. Okay. So tell us your theory on that. You're going to love this. You can't take all those pills at the same time. You have to take them one at a time. Each pill has its own little direction of where it needs to go. If you take them all at the same time, they all go down together, and it's just like a drunken party. They don't know what the hell they're doing. You take them one at a time, this one goes, oh, that one's for the ache and pain in the left. It, it goes over here. The other one goes over here if you take you know, a few seconds later. Oh, this one's for leg pain. It goes down here and goes down <laughs> goes down to your leg. So how do you like his theory on that? You have to take them one at a time. They don't know what to do if they go down with a bunch of friends. I don't know. Mine seemed to work okay. You know, <laughs> I quit partying like that years ago. Now everything is nice and slow and meticulous <laughs> and one at a time. Uh, okay, so this week's question of the week is... Salsa, are you a scooper or a dipper? Yeah. We'll tell you next week who's who on that question. Do you dip your chips? Just or dip. Do you, or do you Or do you scoop, scoop and get a big old thing of salsa and put it in your mouth? Or yeah. do you just kind of dainty and you dip it and eat your chip like that? Yeah. So that's that's this week's question of the week. And what about, can I say it? The DD? The what? Double D. Oh, can I throw that out there? Go ahead. Are you a double dipper or not? Do you double dip? Do you double dip? Do you hide your double dipping? That's an even better question. <laughs> Y'all don't want to go to a party at home. <laughs> you just got to get in front of me at the food bowl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, J and B asked why I wore earplugs when we oh, did our uh, right. last Saturday coffee chat. We were outside. Um, I get earaches really bad, and so I wear the earplugs to keep the wind from blowing in them. And even if there's the slightest breeze, sometimes I'll have to wear them even in the house if we've got the fans going or something. I just can't have air blowing in my ears. So um, I get really bad earaches. And so that's why I wear earplugs. You'll see them me wearing them a lot of times. Um, there's Anytime many... she doesn't want to listen to me, she puts them in. No, they don't work for that. <laughs> but uh, I wear earplugs a lot, and that's it's to keep the, the air out. And sometimes places are too noisy for me. I have very, very sensitive hearing. And sometimes things or places are too noisy, so I'll have my earplugs in. What? <laughs> And then, um, last week, I was also corrected on my grammar, and it must have just been the way I said it, because I do, oh, know, Eugene? The, I do know the difference Banks. between further and farther, <laughs> um, but uh, hey, what's funny is, when Tom told me about it, I went, hey, I do that all the time, we'll be watching a video, but I don't, I don't, I don't comment and tell them on it, <laughs> call them out on it, but Boy. I am always correcting people on what she they She rips say. them a you-know-what when it's just the yep. two of us and we're watching somebody's YouTube so, channel and she's like... Nah, 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 nah. But <laughs> I, they don't know that I'm sitting here correcting them on their, their grammar or their English, um, but thank you for bringing it to my attention. A lot of, so, times, a lot of times they do. A lot of times who do what? Oh, correct me? Yeah, no, they know that you're correcting them. They do not. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. 
Whatever. I say, hi, this is Tom Laurie just said. Well, you do not. <laughs> okay. We, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't, no, never. No. Okay, I don't. Okay, so. Done. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're oh, done. We are, oh, we are done. done. <laughs> See ya. Take your banner and raise it to the sky. <laughs> Good show. Get in there and get some breakfast cooking right now. <laughs>